And so at this point, we have our book it moment. Book them, Dano. I haven't said that in a while. Okay, so um, the book we're highlighting this week is called The Servant. It's by James Hunter. And so here is the deal. Um, for those of you who don't know, and if you don't know, it's because you have not been following me. Um, I am part of the LMR class of 2020. What's up, people? Hello, classmates. And so, which is Leadership Metro Richmond. And one of the major themes of LMR is servant leadership, right? A lot of times people want to be the, the person that people see. They want to be the person in the front. They want to be that person. But really that plugger, that person within your organization, and we all know who it is. We all know in our organizations who it is that's really leading. Like, who are you really following? Like, I think about, there was a time that I worked for an organization. And so, honestly, I think everyone hated the owner. Um, I don't have any other way of putting it. Like, they hated to see the owner come. Love to see the owner go. And that was the bottom line. And so I was the person they came to when they wanted to know what was happening, when they didn't want to know their responsibilities. Like I was their liaison because they just didn't want to deal with the owner. I led, even though my role, my role was actually slight leadership, but I had, I led even beyond that because they knew that I was there to assist them, to serve them, their advocate. I was there with them. I was a part of their team. I was truly a servant leader for that organization and very empathetic to their needs and causes and wants and really wanted them to be better, right? So what I loved about The Servant by Mr. Hunter, I'm going to share a couple of excerpts. And so then um, you'll know why I loved it. And I don't always love every book that I share. I should clarify that. I share the book because I feel like it's beneficial to you all to know about, to expand. Um, every millionaire interviewed always says one of the things to know, if you're looking to increase or to be a millionaire just like them, then you need to be reading a book. They highly recommend autobiographies biographies in general, so that you can learn more from others and the things that they have done and their experiences. So for our book at moment from The Servant by James Hunter, I want to share a uh, couple of excerpts. Okay, so page 101, <laughs> depending on your, your edition of this. Okay. The principal had the dictionary wide open on her lap, ready to go. Simeon, I looked up the first word, patience, and it talks about showing self-control in the face of adversity. She wrote out the definition of patience as showing self-control. God grant me patience and grant it now, the teacher said with a smile. Is patience showing self-control an important character quality for a leader? The coach spoke first. There are a bunch of different people in the classroom. And the leader must model good behavior for the players, kids, employees, or whomever they are leading. If the leader is screaming or otherwise out of control, you sure can't expect the team to be under control or behave responsibly either. It's also important, the nurse added, another classmate, that you create an environment that is safe for people to make mistakes without worrying about some crazy person going off half cock. This part is what I loved. If you spank a baby who is learning to walk every time she falls, she won't think much about walking, will she? She'll probably decide that it's safer to just crawl around, keep her head low, and not take risks, just like a lot of browbeaten employees I know. <laughs> 